Hello, my beautiful family. Salam alaikum, brothers and sisters. Another day, another chance. Thanks a lot for that. Family, I'm back with the Prophet City. So, today I'm going to react B022, Prophet Ayub. Peace be upon him. The man of patience. So, let's do this together. Thanks for everything. You guys know that I love you all and I always uh, pray and wishing the best for we all. Let's do this. Let's learn. Once there was a time when the angels, they were sitting in Jannah and they gathered together to discuss who was the most beloved servant to Allah Azza wa Jal. And at that time, they came up with a name of a great prophet. He had a quality. He would thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon all conditions. I will confess that I, I don't know too much about the prophet Ayub, peace be upon him, but I'm just about to find out. And I'm pretty, pretty sure this will be an amazing story. This prophet who was tested in every way you could imagine. But he persevered in everything. He became the symbol of sabr, patience. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We found him to be very patient. What an excellent worshipper of ours. Indeed, he was oft returning to us. And he is none other than the prophet Ayyub alayhi salam. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Brothers and sisters in Islam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ayyub alayhi salam, he is from the descendants of Ibrahim alayhi salam. His wife was one of the direct descendants of the Prophet Yusuf alayhi salatu wa salam. And her name according to some narrations was Rahma. Rahma. Ayyub's mother was actually the daughter of the Prophet Lut alayhi salam. He had a very, very high lineage in terms of spirituality and connection to the Prophets. Ayyub, they know him in English as Job. His name is Ayyub, the son of Mos, the son of Zarah, the son of al Ais, the son of Ishaq, the son of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ayyub alayhi salam was sent to Huran, which is the south of Syria, Ayyub alayhi salam was a man who was an extremely handsome man and he was very healthy and strong. He was granted lots of wealth. He was given livestock as well as large tracts of land and he was owning so much. And Ayyub alayhi salam had a righteous wife and Ayyub alayhi salam had 14 wow. children, seven boys, seven girls. So he had health, wealth and family. Big family. And not only this, Ayyub alayhi salam was a community leader. He was very well respected. Everyone respected Ayyub alayhi salam. Everyone looked up to Ayyub alayhi salam. Everyone took advice from Ayyub alayhi salam. People will gather around Ayyub alayhi salam to be part of the gathering of Ayyub alayhi salam. Everyone would come to him even if they needed some wealth for themselves. And he was a thankful servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah wanted to test and try to see whether he would be thankful if all of this is taken away. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided, Allahu Akbar, to take his wealth wow. away. So as time passed very quickly, that all of his land be taken away. All of his money disappeared. Everything that he owned simply perished. He was still thanking Allah. Ya Allah, I praise you on all conditions. Not a day did he complain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Iblis, he comes to Ayyub. And by the way, Iblis came to him in a form of a human being here at this moment. And he says to him, look, look, look what your prayer is doing for you. You're praying each and every day. You're praising Allah each and every time. But look what happened to you. you okay, always him, right? You guys know that. Uh... I think I know a little bit about the story by another name, the name uh, in the Bible. But, you know, uh, most of the things in the Bible, it's not, you know, have been changing, changed by man. And uh, it's hard, you know, to believe in most of the things we read over there. So, 
uh, I'm so glad that I'm watching his story from different, you know, um, vision, let's say like that, the, the right one. Lost everything. You know, what kind of Lord is this for you? Listen to the response of Ayyub alayhi salam. He says to Iblis, Allah gives whom He wills, and Allah takes from whom He wills. And all of the wealth that I have, it belongs to Allah, so He has every authority to take it back from me. And thereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to test him wow. further. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took the souls of all his children. Not one, not two, 14 children. What a test, huh? 14 young, healthy, beautiful children he had. Seven boys, seven girls. They were all taken. Can you imagine that? How hard is that, yeah. my brothers? How hard is that? Subhanallah. One after the other. With everyone, he would say, we all belong to Allah. Whatever He has given to us was always His. If He took it away, it just returned to who it belonged wow. to always. The response that Ayyub says to Iblis when all of his family was destroyed, he says to Iblis, Allah Azza wa Jal gives me what is good for me and takes away what Allah sees that is displeasing for him and for me. Allah sees that all of these children may be a strong test and a trial for me, so Allah took them away from me. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala found after testing content. Ayyub alayhi salatu was salam, now with the second line of attack, if we can call it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala found him to be grateful. He still says, Ya Allah, you have still given me. And I thank you and I praise you and I remain in your worship and I continue with my work. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to test him finally with something very, very difficult. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, then we decided to take his health away. He became so sick, he became so ill until the narration says that skin used to fall off his body until you could see his muscles and his bones. He's still alive, breathing. It was said that Ayyub alayhi salam was so sick that there were only two organs that were working in his entire body. The heart, of his heart and his tongue and he still used that tongue to remember Allah and he still used that heart he never allowed it to lead him to frustration against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is a great prophet of Allah never was shaken in his belief in Allah not only that the people began to say if this man was a good person Allah wouldn't have done this to him and so he lost what his close faith, friends huh? no one wanted to be around Ayyub the people around him began keeping a distance until they decided we need to remove this man from here. And so he had to abandon the city. Ayyub alayhi salam will strive for 18 years. 18 years, wow. my brothers and sisters, in that condition. There was only Ayyub alayhi salam and one person that remained with him, his wife. He had no source of income. So it is said that his wife started to work. She would cook for people, serve them in their homes. But then the people didn't want to interact with her because they were afraid that she could also infect them. So nobody wants to hire her. One day his wife came to him and she said, What are you? You are the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah. You have the closest relationship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take you out of this harm that you're in. So Ayyub alayhi salam said, My wife, how long did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me blessings for? She said, 80 years or so. He said, I am too shy to ask Allah to cure me yet until 80 years of this time has gone as well. He's given me so much. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He told his wife, You can't tell me this. If I get better, I'm going to lash you 100 lashes. And Ayyub alayhi salam never used to complain. And never raised his hands and said, Ya Allah, take me out of what I mean. He was too shy to ask Allah for that. But Ya Allah, give me patience. Ya Allah, give me strength. This is your test over me. You accept it, I accept it and I'm having patience till then. This is what you call the true servant of Allah. And as we mentioned, his wife is also what a struggling. Lesson, huh? His wife is also struggling. And now she needs money. 
and she needs food to feed. Ayyub alayhi salam. So what did she do? She had the very long hair. And back then they used to sell the hair. That she cut one of the sides of her hair and she sold it to one of her friends. With that money, she bought food to Ayyub alayhi salam. Ayyub alayhi salam knew that she has no money. This day she came with food. Where did you get this food from? She did not want to respond to Ayyub alayhi salam because she knows Ayyub will get angry. And she was covered. So she mentioned that I was working, I made the living and I bought food with the money that I made. The next day, she needs money. So she went and sold the rest of her hair. When she came to Ayyub alayhi salam, this time Ayyub insisted on her. Where did you get the money? She uncovered her hair when Ayyub saw that scene. That was difficult for Sayyidina Ayyub alayhi salam to hear. And he calls out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, وَأَيُّوبَ إِذْ نَادَى رَبَّهُ أَنِّي مَسَّنِيَ الضُّرُّ وَأَنْتَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ Remember when our servant Ayyub called out to us, O oh my Rabb, evil has touched me, and yet you are the most forgiving, most merciful. This is perhaps some of the most beautiful Arabic you will ever read in your life when it comes to speaking to Allah Azza wa Jal. Listen to the words of Ayyub. The first thing that he does is he calls upon Allah. You notice that Ayyub doesn't say, Oh Allah, you have made or you have brought an affliction upon me. You notice that Ayyub doesn't say, Oh Allah, cure me. Oh Allah, give me. Oh Allah, give me back my family and my wealth. He doesn't even ask for anything. He simply praises Allah because he knows Allah knows what is in his heart. Allah says, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. We responded. We responded that call. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, Strike the ground with your foot. This is a spring of water to wash in, cool and refreshing to drink. So he was commanded to hit the ground with his foot. So he struck the ground with his foot. A spring gushed water, cold water, started gushing from his feet. He was ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to wash his body with that water. So it would heal him and purify him from the outside and to drink it and it will heal from the inside. So as he washed, his blisters started disappearing. As he drank, the internal organs came in order again. To the degree that in a short space of time, his skin was renewed totally. A new man, Allahu Akbar. And his internals were made again as good as they were before and even better by drinking this water. His wife came back, she looked and she says, where is you? Who are you? Family, just let me, uh, my battery, it's always gone. Let me fix here first. Okay, ready. Then just let me check. Okay. But you look very similar to him. Did you see that Raja was servant of Allah Ayyub sitting around here? So he responded back to her, smiling, saying, It's me. So she didn't believe him. She said, Are you making mock? Are you making a mockery? Are you making fun? Where is he? He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me the health. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made his wife also go back 18 years younger as she used to be 18 years before. And Allah Azza wa Jalla says, and we gave Ayyub his kids and twice as, as much. Wow. The scholars say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Ayyub 28 kids, 14 boys and 14 girls. Then Allah Azza wa Jalla returned his entire community. His entire community tripled and tripled and tripled and became bigger than when, that it ever was. What about his wealth? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, when Ayyub was taking a shower naked, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent on him grasshoppers made of gold that were falling over him. Sayyidina Ayyub salam was gathering them and collecting them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Ayyub, I've given you so much. I've given you back your wealth. I've given you everything, your strength. Why do you want more? Why are you gathering these locusts? And Ayyub responds and says, I just want to enjoy the blessings that you have given me. Allah loves to see his servant taking from his blessing. He loves it and thanking Allah for his blessing. He had one issue, one more issue. 
He swore that he would lash his wife a hundred lashes if he was cured. Now he's cured. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to him. Allah says, don't break your promise. We will show you a way out. You can take a little bunch full of grass like branch, very light and use that to whip. Allah says, so imagine now you're taking a few bun bundle, a bundle of little grass and you're using that. It has no pain, but you are not breaking your promise. Look how Allah taught him a way out. Then at the end, Allah says, we found him to be very patient. What an excellent worshiper of ours. Indeed, he was oft returning to us. Look at Allah praising Ayyub alayhi salatu wasalam. Anything that I do for him, any affliction that I put upon him, he comes back to me. Whenever we want to describe patience, we say patience of Ayyub, Sabr Ayyub. He became the symbol of Sabr, patience. Ayyub alayhi salam had 28 kids and one of his children, his name was Bishr. Bishr is what some of the scholars say is Dul Kif. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad Subhanallahi wa bihamdih Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayh Family, what an uh, amazing and emotional uh, story uh, Like I said, I knew it a little bit about it more But not that way And that's why those videos teach me so much every single day and that's why I'm always thankful to Allah. I try not to complain about anything, you know, just if uh, any problem appears, I try to solve and never complain because just to be briefing, it is a blessing uh, from Allah. And it is amazing because those videos, they teach us, you know, uh, a lot of things to you know use day by day see uh, Ayub what a, a servant of Allah patient is one of the key for everything that's that's the truth so thanks so much family that was amazing and I will be back with the next story very soon be safe Allah bless you all and I see you guys next time. Thank you.